In this tutorial, I'll cover the bend and twist modifiers in 3ds Max. Let's start by making a plane. Um, I'm just going to keep this around 12 feet or so, but it doesn't really matter. I'm going to turn off the grid just so we see it a little better. And then after we create the object, let's go to our modifier list, make sure your plane is selected, and then we can go ahead and add a bend modifier. So when you add the bend modifier, nothing happens to the plane because it's bending in the z-axis, which there is no dimension in the z-axis. So um, let's change that to the x-axis, and then let's add some angle to this. So you can see it bends as we adjust this angle. We could type in a value, or we could just use these arrows here. Um, you can also change the direction of the bend, which kind of rotates uh, where that axis is occurring along the bend. And then you can also change the limits. So um, the limits, right now it's happening, if I click it on, it happens from 0 to 0, so it's not happening at all. But you can see as I change that dimension, it changes where that limit's happening. So you can see it's happening 6 feet along that plane, and then it uh, ends at the 0. So if I change the lower limit and go negative there, it'll change where that line's affecting it. So basically it bends anywhere between that line and that line. So it's not bending here, and then it starts to bend there. Let's select our plane again. Let's just increase the number of segments on it so we can see this a little bit better. Um, I turned off the toggle, but we can turn that on. And now you can see that it's going straight, and then it begins to bend. If I turn off the limit effect, it'll just bend um, across the entire geometry. Now one really nice thing about Max is if I open up, you select this little arrow here next to bend, you can open up the bend modifier, and all the modifiers have this. You can select gizmo, which is the center of that uh, modifier, and then you can actually move the gizmo around, and you can see that it affects where that bend is happening based on where that gizmo or that kind of reference is located. So I can move it, I can even rotate it. So as I rotate it, you can see it really changes how it affects how it's bending that geometry. So that's a really interesting and nice feature of these, these modifiers in Max. The next one we'll look at, I'll just go ahead and turn this one off, is the twist modifier. By the way, you can always just start typing in over here and it will automatically go to what you're typing. So there's the twist modifier. Let's go ahead and try some of these values. Again, since it's in Z, there's no dimension in Z, so it's not affecting it. So let's change it to X. You can see it's now twisting along that X axis. Um, you can change the bias, which is you know, does it have more twist on one end or another. And just like the bend, you can change the limit effect. So where is it actually happening? Where's the twist occurring? Um, here you can see it's happening between that line and that orange line. So we can change that dimension. Um, of course, with all these things, if you change, if you go back to the original geometry, you can actually increase the number of segments and see even a little smoother uh, effect of that twist happening. So that's the bend and twist. A lot you can do with these things. Again, you can open these up, you know, rotate that, that um, gizmo, and then see how it affects the geometry. If I turn on the bend, it'll affect both the, the, the bend and the twist will affect the geometry.